Hey, welcome to my channel. So a couple months ago, I bought a product off of Amazon, and I didn't really know too much about this product um, or the ingredients. Um, I just bought it based off of reviews and people saying that it worked really well, and I wanted to try it. Um, although I only tried it a few times and with a lot of time in between, mainly because I was nervous that I would be allergic to this product, but I decided that I would try it for an entire week um, and give you guys a review on the product. So the product that I tried is the Mijon Black Snail All-in-One Cream. So I'm just going to read what they put on the packaging as a description. It says, this is an all-in-one black snail cream which is mixed with 90% of black snail mucus filtrate of Africa, containing plenty of mucin and more than 20 kinds of black plants and takes care of all of overall skin troubles such as trace, loosened pores, irregular skin tone, etc., and presents a healthy skin. So that's kind of their description. Um, I did a little bit more research to find out um, exactly what uh, ingredients are in this product and what they do for the skin. So the first ingredient is snail secretion filtrate, which is what is secreted out of a snail. And that contains a lot of nutrients um, such as hyaluronic acid and copper peptides which are good for retaining moisture and anti-aging. I did some research to see um, like the process of how they get the secretion um, to see if like snails are hurt or killed in this process and from what I found um, they aren't harmed in any way. Uh, different companies have different ways of extracting the secretion. Um, such as Cozarex, they said that they um, leave their snails in a dark room on a tray and they um, just allow them to roam around that tray for 30 minutes and then they collect the secretion uh, left over from that snail. I'm not sure about this brand in particular, how they get their uh, secretions, but um, so from what I've seen, most companies do it in a safe way for the snails. Another ingredient that is contained in this cream is Centella Asiatica. So what this is, is a plant that is anti-inflammatory, soothing, and has antioxidants in it. And this is actually great for people with acne-prone skin, as it soothes acne and can prevent more acne from appearing. Another important ingredient that this contains is rose extract. Rose is good for soothing, brightening, and acne fighting. So with these ingredients combined, plus more, this product is advertised as, um, I'm going to read this just so I don't miss anything, brightening, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, soothing, reduces redness, antioxidant, and acne fighting. In my experience, I definitely saw the brightening, um, anti-inflammatory, and soothing um, aspects of this cream. Um, in my before picture, you can see that I had quite a bit of acne and it was red and um, kind of inflamed. After about a week, I definitely started to see my skin looking brighter, like there was just a glow from underneath my skin that made my complexion look a lot um, brighter and healthier. Okay, so it's been a week since I started using the snail cream and I've noticed my skin looks a lot better and I'm really surprised actually. Um, so the acne that I had just a few days ago, if you've seen my um, glass skin video, um, I had a major breakout um, during that video. Um, and I realized it was caused by hormones. I had a huge zit here and then a few breakouts on my forehead and um, Surprisingly those went away in like three days when usually um, Hormonal acne for me takes a week to heal um, Especially if I'm messing with it, which I did with these I um, Did try to pop them which I know I'm not supposed to do but yeah, they're like all gone like I just have this little scar um, a little bit of hyperpigmentation, but that, um, is a, is greatly reduced compared to how it would be, um, normally. Um, so I'm, like, really surprised with this, um, snail cream. And a lot of reviews said they didn't notice anything until the second week. So I've decided to, um, use this product for two weeks instead of just one. Um, uh, the scars, or the hyperpigmentation that I had here, um, is fading as well, and so I think if I use this for another week, it may go away completely. Um, but yeah, we'll see, and I haven't had any more breakouts either, um, which is pretty surprising. I was using some uh, spot treatments, um, which included salicylic acid, 
uh, benzoyl peroxide, apple cider vinegar, and the Cosarex um, acne pimple patches. But um, for the second week, I'm not going to use any of that and just use the, um, the snail cream as the last part of my skincare routine. And we will see how that goes. But yeah, I will see you back in another week. One thing about this product though is I don't feel like it's very moisturizing. I think it's good as a moisturizer for um, the daytime and maybe more in the summer than um, the winter. But for at night, sometimes I would wake up and my skin would feel kind of dry. And I don't have dry skin normally. So I definitely think that you should have a skincare routine that has something else to um, provide moisture, such as a serum or an essence and not to rely on this as a moisturizer alone. One thing that I really was hoping for was um, to fade my acne scars, and I definitely saw that happening. Um, the ones I have right here faded quite a few shades, um, as well as on my forehead, actually, and I'm really happy about that. I also noticed that the pores I have right around here, um, they were quite large um, prior to this uh, trial, and I noticed that they got significantly smaller. They're still like the largest pores on my face, but they definitely have gotten smaller. And I feel like my makeup looks a lot smoother on my skin, where it kind of looked a bit, not cakey, but it just looked like my skin was uneven underneath. And I only use BB cream, um, concealer, and blush on my cheeks. So um, it's definitely evened out. And I don't know if you can see right now but yeah oh and besides this um, I didn't notice any other acne coming about I definitely think that this is a good cream for normal skin types um, oily skin types and acne prone skin types um, like I said about um, not being super moisturizing I think maybe it wouldn't be too great for people with dry skin although um, a lot of people uh, a lot of reviews I saw said that the um, dry patches on their face did heal but if you do have dry skin and you want to use this I like I said before you should probably have something else in your skincare routine that provides moisture overall I think this is a really great product and I'm definitely going to continue to use it um, maybe not every night like I have been doing I've been doing it in the morning and at night um, I think I'll probably stick to using it in the morning. One more thing, you should always test new products when you get them to see that you won't have a reaction to it. Um, especially if you have sensitive skin or if you have allergies, um, like myself, you should probably test a little bit, I would say, for two nights um, in a row. Because sometimes if you put it on one time, the next day your skin will be fine, and then you decide you put it all over your face and then your skin breaks out. So I think testing it two times in the same spot is a good idea. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of this video, and if you would try this product, or if you have tried this product, let me know what it did for your skin and how you liked it. Also, if you want, you can leave me recommendations of other things to try in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.